Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and in this video I have uh, one Excel formula challenge for you and it's very interesting situation and let's see that uh, how many of you can create uh, the, the solution for this Excel challenge so let's get start I have one data database let me just explain you first how the data is being populated and maintaining and then what we are actually required from this data so we, if you can see that uh, we have some columns serial numbers district right and we have some school names and primary and school types we have some we have a column which represent gender location and so on so what we have to do is uh, we need to fetch out some data from this database based on certain criteria. what we need is we need a unique list it should be random and it should be random based on criteria and it will be dependent on the criteria multiple criteria and it will generate the random unique list so how it goes for example from the very top what what we actually required is we have total of 19 districts in this database we have total 19 districts and in the database column you can see column C which pertains to the uh, to the district so we have 19 districts out of these 19 districts uh, each of the district contains some number of schools now it can be less than 20 or more than 20 uh, but what we are required is that out of 19 districts uh, we need to fetch the 20 school at least 20 at least 20 schools which will be unique list unique not the repeating and it will every time it will uh, fetch the random 20 school from each of the district okay after that what I mean is for example if I select one district here I need 20 schools from this column might be it less than 20 or it can more be 20 but uh, it should be unique and random uh, after that these 20 schools will uh, split into two so let me just read it we need to randomly select 20 schools from each district out of the next level filter now the next level filter will be 10 should be the boys and 10 should be the girls so when we have when, when we got 20 schools uh, further that we need a gender column which fetches uh, 10 male or 10 female now it can be less than that but not more than 10 okay so this is the another dependent filter which will be unique and random every time then out of 20 schools let's say first we talk about the 10 first 10 schools so the first 10 schools be split into two categories the six should be from the ruler and the four should be from the urban so what we need is if we get uh, 20 schools from from the one district here then we need six schools six should be from the ruler so six should be from the ruler and this means that in the location we need six from the ruler and four from the urban right so we are talking about the two altogether 20 schools so we need to fetch the 12 schools located at the ruler side and eight schools located at, at the urban side so let's talk about again the first 10 and this will apply for the next 10 as well so out of 10 schools for example we fetch the six ruler and four urban and in the ruler and urban it again is split into some uh, filter criteria is that in the ruler out of six rulers we need two primary two middle and two high school again these three will be uh, unique and random every time it can be less than two if available in the data uh, should not be more than two and in the urban we need two primary and two middle so where this data is in the database sheet we have the rural and urban location then genders and then we have the school type which is we, we got higher secondary high middle and primary 
so we need to further drill down and and uh, fetch the data based on random and uniqueness okay so that is that we want to have from all 19 districts so starting from the very top let me just conclude the problem that out of 19 districts each district should fetch 20 schools random unique okay it can be less than 20 if if some district have less than 20 schools that's not a problem but if any district has more than 20 schools so every time it contains the unique list and random list of the 20 schools and out of 20 10 10 will split so these 20 schools will give me the uh, 10 10 schools from of the girls and 10 of the boys then for the first 10 we need six ruler and urban four urban and then in six ruler two primary two middle and two high school and similarly for the urban so this is the query which we need to resolve so let's come up with the brainstorming and ideas and and yes the solution we need to create a formula for that if you can create a vba that's excellent uh, what so far i have did is basically it's create the unique list but not the random every time so far is for example if i select uh, i have selected ad hoc here so in the database ad hoc has only 12 schools all right so the first uh, so how it will work is that we need at least 20 but uh, in the database we don't have the 20 we have only 12 so it will split into first 10 and the next 10 the first 10 means that uh, for the first six it will again filter into the ruler and urban criteria and the male and female criteria right so this is how the, this list will be split into dependent uh, filters uh, based on the criteria which will be again i'm saying that will be a random unique list every time all right for example some uh, districts have more than 20 schools so again this this is actually populating uh, the unique list of the schools but not the random every time right what we need is we need to have the unique random random based on multiple criteria and it will be dependent and how it goes so i hope you understand the query right and uh, create a, a, a sample data from your side and then uh, send me the solution i'm be waiting for you and let's see uh, who who is very smart to creating a very simple and efficient formula for this kind of queries thank you so much